Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So, I am going to do another book review today. I read a book that I've been meaning to read for a while, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. It's a fairly short book, a classic book. It's called Flatlands. Uh, and, uh, and it's kind of an interesting book. You can, you can check it out here. It's, uh, it's a public domain book, I believe, at this point. It's a very old book. And what it is, is it's the saga of a two-dimensional square. <laughs> in, in living in a two-dimensional world, as he encounters a one-dimensional line and uh, in a, a three-dimensional sphere. And, he, and it's about really how uh, perception, right? It's, it's a story, it's all, you know, in, in this frame of reference from this two-dimensional square and it, it talks about like how a two-dimensional world might exist, right? If you think about a two-dimensional world, it'd be like flat, right? Just like a flat paper. If you've ever seen like Paper Mario, that's what a two-dimensional world would be like or a video game, right? Just a side scroller type of to jump over obstacles, right? And so there's all these he just goes on to describe a two-dimensional world that he lives in. He eventually counters, like I said, a one-dimensional being that doesn't understand anything about his two-dimensional world, and he's frustrated by that, trying to tell this one-dimensional being how dumb he is, essentially, because he doesn't understand and doesn't believe in the two-dimensional world, the real reality. But then he has this sort of moment where this three-dimensional sphere comes into his room and he can only perceive it, of course, as, a, as a, what he can perceive in the two dimensions. He, he sees it as a circle, but then the fear, the sphere proves to himself that, or proves to him that he's a sphere by various methods. I won't go into through the details. And eventually this two dimensional square gets pulled up above the plane that he's in and can see that he's been living in this two-dimensional world and there's actually three dimensions. Then he goes on to debate the sphere, saying, well, what about the fourth dimension and fifth dimension? So the book is really an interesting book because it'll kind of stretch your mind a little bit and make you think about you know, what would it look like? What would a fourth dimension be, right? For us, it's the same thing as like these two-dimensional beings struggling with what a third dimension is. So what if there's another direction besides up, down, you know, left, right, forward, backward? What if there's like s some other direction we could move and we just aren't capable because we're three-dimensional beings? So very interesting, right? And uh, yeah, I think it's worth a read. It's uh, just one of those books that that is fun and that that it will challenge your brain. I think that it's it's a classic book. Like I said, I've heard it recommended multiple times, but I hadn't gotten around to reading it. Reading it, it's a, it's a really good uh, you know book for 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 just thinking about thinking outside of the box type of thing. And it also goes there's there's some lesson in this I think too, which is just the fact that that it's difficult to communicate. Again, I've said this before in, in multiple videos that when you're ignorant, it's impossible to be, you're ignorant of your ignorance, right? It's impossible to know what you don't know. And so you may think you have a picture, a complete picture of the thing, or you may be sure about some things in life, but you, you could be totally wrong and you'd have no way of knowing that and, and so that's it, it's just something to keep in your mind all the time is that it, there's a possibility that what you think you know, you don't know. And that, that will, will kind of keep you in that humble space mentally that will make you a little bit more open to learn and to grow. And knowing that there's no way that you could possibly perceive that you're wrong. You know, that means that, you know, it doesn't mean that you should just not believe anything and always think that you're wrong. You should proceed with what you know. but you know, like the, the two-dimensional beings that rejected this, <laughs> this, this other two-dimensional, uh, you know, his account of the, of the three-dimensional being, I think we should be a little bit smart to, uh, uh, we, should, we shouldn't be that ignorant, right? We should, we should be a little bit smarter than that and, and realize that we could be wrong. So anyway, there's, like I said, there's another lesson in there and, and just his account, he ends up being taken to prison and all this stuff because he's preaching heresy and so uh, yeah, interesting, interesting book. So check it out, Flatlands. Um, I think it's called like a romance of, 
of dimensions or something like that. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was a pretty good book. And, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. See ya.